position of an open cow track. When palpating, one would insert the hands with the fingers together into the rectum. Upon reaching into the rectum, you can then put pressure down on the rectum and sweep the pelvis in order to find the reproductive tract. The first thing that you should find would be the vagina or the cervix. If the reproductive tract is hanging over the pelvis, one can grab the hold of the vagina and lift up, and because it's open, lift the tract up onto the pelvis. On using hand pressure then and moving forward, one then can, can then locate the cervix, which feels like a chicken neck. Upon finding the cervix, again, you can lift up and pull the tract completely up onto the pelvis, and using your fingers, reach down and find the bifurcation between the uterine horns. Oh. And Upon getting a hold of the bifurcation, then you can follow the uterine horns down the side and palpate for early pregnancy. If this animal was pregnant, one could maybe find a dirty 35 embryonic vesicle. But as you can see, moving the fingers along, there is no uh, vessel here, or is there any membrane slip that will show in pregnancy. You can also then follow the horns down and find the ovaries. And in this case, these are very small ovaries with not very large structures. But one can put the fingers on the ovaries and rub the fingers across, feeling for a CL or a follicle. Upon looking at the right over, one can then follow along and get on to the left uterine horn and again palpate through the horn, finding the ovaries and palpating it in order to find if any ovarian structures are present, determine if cyclicity or non-cyclicity is occurring. Upon thorough examination of the uterine horns, one then can determine, at least at this case, if animals were bred at day 60, that this animal is truly open, if one can basically lift up and find and put both horns in their hand.